today's look. I am actually really happy with the look. I wasn't too sure about the hair because I'm not used to like really short hair like this. This is the first time I've, I've had like a really short hair like this. But surprisingly, I'm loving it. Um, let me know guys what you think of this hair as well. Let me know if you think it suits me. Let me know if you like it in the comment bar below. Hi guys, hi. Welcome back to my channel. It's Alice Walker here. And I hope you guys are doing, are doing absolutely fantastic. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup shook chit chat. I remember my last video I told you guys that I'm going to be telling you why I took a long break. Nobody really cares but you know I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm going to be doing my makeup and I will be chatting to you guys at the same time. It's not really a tutorial it's just a chit chat and since I'm going to be chit chatting I thought why not do my makeup at the same time. If you hear beeps and noises in the background is my smoke alarm. We try to take it up but we don't even know how to so we have somebody to come in here to take the battery out for us because I think the battery is dead. Pardon me if the noises are annoying you. My next video I will personally make sure that the noises are not in there. All right so let's crack on with the video. I've got my eyebrows done already. This is the one I always always use the LA Pro Conceal in the color phone. I'm going to be using that to conceal my eye. We're going to be using Zoeva Aristo. We are going to be using Plautos as a transition shade. It's not even showing. It doesn't show on my eyelid because it's almost the same color as my eyelid. Why is it the same color as my skin tone? The reason why I took some time out is three or two things. I will tell you as I go along. I've got a very funny skin. One minute it's nice and clear. The next minute I've got like spots all over. And I started doing experiment because I wanted to experiment with um, other foundations. I've got a type of skin where if something is working for me, I have to stick with it. The moment I change it and I interrupt with my skin, oof, all hell breaks. So I do makeup and on here, YouTube tutorial. So, you know, you're going to have to try different types of foundations. So that's why if you've noticed, I do not use so many different foundations. I normally stick with like couple with those that works for my skin. I started using this foundation that I was thinking of doing um, a review on here with. Like you use it on here to do uh, makeup tutorials. And when I used those foundations, there were two different foundations. My skin, I do not know what happened or what was in that foundation or which foundation caused that my whole skin just broke out of spots and the spots were not even like big spots or they were not blackheads or whiteheads they were just little tiny dots like all over my face so they looked like rushes and it was so bad if i turn this way you can even see a little bit of the black you see the black dots there my skin just started breaking out like really badly i tried everything i went to the dermatologist i went to my doctors to find out what is going on with my skin they just said that oh it just looks like you know something that i've used that's not good for me whatever it is that i'm using i should stop using they gave me some i can't remember some creams to use i was using all that and it wasn't clearing for a whole three months my skin was so bad right now i'm just blending it in this time around i'm bringing it all the way up here So now I'm using the Juvia's Place the Festivals to intensify and to define the crease a lot more. We are going to be using Kelly Care. I was trying a lot of stuff on my skin Eutogena, I mean, I think I will do a video Like a separate video to show you the kind of the things that I was using on my skin Two months came in the spots went going and I said to myself that you know what I am tired I threw in the towel and I said I honestly cannot be bothered with my skin anymore I'm just gonna let it be I'm going to stop everything and let it be and that's exactly what I did and a month came by and I realized that the, the skin was clearing. It started clearing on its own. <laughs> and I honestly did not need all, all this stuff. You know, all my skin needed was to breathe. 
just to allow it to breathe fingers crossed i'm praying that the spots is not going to come back and um, i just didn't want to come on here and start putting makeup on again you know i just wanted to clear my skin because i didn't know what it was that was causing that so i wanted to clear my skin first before i actually um do any more any more tutorials or in, put anything harsh on my skin and the other thing was i think i touched on in my last video okay we're gonna do it all the way up here so i'm cutting a crease we're doing it all the way up here because i cannot like really see from far because of the light the light is so bright in my eye Like I said, you know, I started a wig line. That's not easy. It took a, a long time. It was time consuming. I'm not even gonna lie. I had to get vendors. I had to get told doing the, the boxes, find the hair companies and the website and all that thing took so long. So even when the skin cleared, that this was in, in the banner as well. Sorry, I cannot do my <laughs> I can't do my eye and talk at the same time. Right, so what I'm trying to say is like I touched on in my other video, I started my hair and um, wig line and that took a lot of my time. Even when my skin cleared, I had that to do as well. It was just too much happening. I just became unmotivated basically with YouTube and I was thinking about the editing because I don't know about you guys but it takes me ages to edit a video it takes me like forever to edit a video I use Premiere Pro but that application is complicated maybe I should get an easier one an easier application so that's what um happened with YouTube I just feel like the more I worked hard, I felt like the more I'm not getting anywhere. And I know it takes a while to get to a certain place. All these people have made it, you know, it's to, they just didn't get there overnight. It, they had to work their butt off. They had to work really hard to get to that position. And I feel like that's what I was doing. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you. We're going to be using the central figure, this one there. I'm just patting it on because I want the pigment. I use the Maybelline Anti-Age, uh, what's it called, the Eraser Concealer. The colour is O3 Fair because I wanted it very light, very very light because when it's the lighter it is or the whiter it is, the more your eyeshadow will pop. I'm patting it on because I want it to be quite pigmented thank you for those of you who watched my last video about the scam and thank you for all your input at first when that happened to me i felt really stupid but you know it can happen to anybody and these people can come in and they're very very persuasive but like i said now i know and the reason why i put up that video because i wanted to I know it's still happening, you know, it's still happening and I wanted to bring like um, awareness to other people who are starting and like me, they don't have anybody advising them of what to do when they come into situations like that. So that's why I did the video and it took me a while guys. My sister in Canada was kept telling me that, oh, you need to do a video about this just to advise other people. Some people are making the same sort of mistakes out there. So do that video and just bring awareness to other people. I'm really, really grateful that I've got really beautiful friends out there who watches my videos. And I am so grateful for all your advice and all your input. Some of you wrote a long reply telling me about your experiences. And I really do appreciate that as well. I love the color. The color is just nice. Mm. For my liner, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris um, Perfect Slim. Guys, this liner is very good and it's value for money. I love it.
guys you know i've got um hooded eyes so i like to do my liner quite thin because if i do it thick then when it goes on the crease it just does not look nice the mascara i'll be using today is from max factor and it's four slash effect The lashes I'll be using today is from Sean's Beauty and it's called Sweetness. Sean's Beauty, you need to check it out. I'm going to leave her link down below. You need to check it out. Her lashes are just amazing. Since I bought her lashes from her to use, I have not gone back because her lashes are just the bomb.com. Ooh, Sean, a girl. Look at those lashes. I, I, bought, I actually bought three. And I've used two, but this one I've never ever used because I thought it was a bit too out of there. <laughs> the primer I'll be using today is from Kat Von D and Lock It Primer is the hydrating primer. I am going to be mixing it with my foundation. I'll be using two different foundations. When I use these ones, it does not break me out. So is these two the bond this way and nas the reason why i mix the two is because one is a little bit darker for me which is the nas and this one is the chai by Too faced so when i mix the two i get my i get a really nice nice um color so i'm going to be putting some dots on my face i'm trying not to put too much because i haven't actually got a big face so Sometimes when I put the foundation, I don't gauge it well and it just looks way too much on my face. I honestly do not like using a lot of primers. And now I'm going to be patting it on my face. I don't rub it in. I don't. I, I pat it. I pat it because I want the foundation to actually stay on my face. Honestly, look at the coverage. It is a different color, but I, I actually do like this color, the color that it makes. The coverage is unbelievable, the two together. All of a sudden, it's transformed my, my face, it's transformed my skin. Spots? What spots? Blackheads? What blackheads? Nobody's got blackheads. It's amazing. Oof. my own advice right and the concealer i'm going to be using under my eye is the la pro conceal in the color phone guys something funny happened today i was taking my six-year-old to school today and my son was, was just talking to me i can't remember what he was talking to me about he said he was saying something and he said mommy this lady just got involved and she looked at me and she said oh that's your son you don't look like you've had a baby <laughs> i don't know when people say that why does people feel the need to to say that i know on the other hand it can be a compliment it is a compliment you honestly don't know how old that person is she thought that he was my little brother and i said no that's my son i'm not as young as you think i am but thank you so much for the compliment and the whole time when she was leaving she kept staring at me she the whole time this lady was staring at me i think she just couldn't believe it my my, my six-year-old he thought the whole thing was very funny he was just laughing the whole time the whole entire time that we were going to school he was just laughing i'm using a foundation stick the long wear um shaping foundation stick from l'oreal paris to contour my face there we go I'm gonna be putting some there because my cheeks are just getting a little bit too chubby for my own gait. Can you see the difference? All of a sudden, I have cheekbones. I have cheekbones. The magic and the tricks of makeup. Now I'm going to be blending the one here on my nose. This, the lashes are so long. 
I'm going to use my fingers. The setting pad that we're going to be using today is Sasha Buttercup. This is absolutely my favorite. Uh, this is all I've used, but I've recently ordered the Juvia's Place one. When it comes, I'm going to try that one out and see if that one is better. If it's better, then, you know, I'll switch to that one. But for now, this is the one I always use. I'm going to pat it down. So I'll pat it down a bit and... I normally, when I'm applying the powder, I normally pat it in first because I'm very oily. So I press it, I put it there and I press it down, I press it in first. I'm going to try and speed this up, so I'm going to stop talking and finish this up. Enjoy the rest of the video. See you on the other side when I finish. <laughs> So this is the end result, this is the makeup. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Yeah.